Okay, first question. <clears throat> Jocko, can you tell us your views on Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu competing mindset and training leading into a competition? Well, competing is great. Competing makes you better. Competing points out your weaknesses. Competing lets you roll against people that you've never trained with before that are going to go 1,000% against you. Yep. Every move matters in competition. Yes, yep. they bring it. Uh, I competed a ton back in the early days. Um, you know, you know, really, I'll just talk about Dean because Dean and I were, were teammates back then and still are, but we competed all the time. And... We competed in the old school tournaments, the uh, the grappling games. They used to have those, mm-hmm. the 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 Pan American submission grappling. It was sort of like a some offshoot or another competing sort of Pan Ams type situation. Mm-hmm. Uh, my my, there was the the Joe Moriera tournaments back in the day. Those were pretty cool, and uh, the Copa Pacifica. I think I did a few <laughs> of those back in the day. Well, my, my favorite was doing the neutral grounds tournaments because those were like held up in L.A., up in the hood somewhere, and we'd roll in and be kind of underground. Mm-hmm. And those were really cool competitions. So, but competed a ton back in the day. Um, once, honestly, once September 11th happened, that was now my focus more than anything else. And I needed to be ready. I needed to be ready. I couldn't be having a blown out knee. I couldn't be having a hurt shoulder. So. And furthermore, I had like less time to focus and have real, like, let's call it a training camp to be ready right. to compete at a high level. And I mean, I was at a high level, you know, I mean, I was, I was, you know, a brown belt or a black belt at the time. And so it wasn't like you could just show up a weekend warrior and jump in the jump on the mat with, you know, some, some other black belt and it was going to go easy for you. It wasn't going to happen. So right. I, and, you know, the bottom line is I needed to be hundred percent for the job, uh, but competing is awesome. It's intense. No matter what you do in training, you cannot get a person as fired up as they are going to be in competition. It's not going to happen. So it's really good to to compete so you find out what your weakness is. You find out what it feels like when someone's going psycho on you Mm because they're going to be going psycho. And to prepare for them, you know, you got to, you got to, my favorite thing to do prepare is, you know, you get guys where they're going got fresh people coming on you because everybody can be destroyed when fatigue rolls in and Mm -hmm. starts getting playing a role in the situation it's it's, Mm -hmm. it's bad so when you bring in a fresh person you know after every two minutes three minutes four minutes one minute six minutes but one person is 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 fighting the whole time and other people are getting rested and coming in Mm -hmm. that's very challenging it makes you rely on your technique it pushes you beyond your normal limits and it's an awesome way to do it Mm-hmm. So that being said, you also can't just do that all the time because you have to train your explosiveness as well. And you need to be ready to do, you know, if you're doing a seven minute fight, you need to be able to go hard for seven minutes and not save everything for a 38 minute fight, which mm-hmm. is what you sometimes end up doing in the gym. I do that all the time in the gym. I'm doing, you know, six rounds, seven rounds, you know, nine rounds, whatever the case may be. Mm-hmm. And you're also doing just one round, but it's one round that's 23 minutes long. Yeah. That happens too. So, I like to do a little bit of all those things. And but yeah, compete, get yourself better, and it'll it'll definitely make you a better jujitsu player, which will make you a better person. Get Agreed. used to that pressure. You know what another uh tactic which is which is kinda good and Jeff will do this sometimes, he'll do like a three minute round. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's strange because when you know there's only three minutes, you kinda get that illusion that f- I'm just going to go all out and yeah. see how many, if I can get this guy. I only have three yeah. minutes to get him. And so you're going hard. So your yeah. sense of urgency is yeah. more than if you have an eight minute round. Yep. So sure. you're, pre- but here's the, here's the little trick. And I don't know if Jeff did this on purpose, he but it's, it it's, purpose. <laughs> it's kind of this little trick where you're going hard, but he only gives us 30 seconds in between. Yeah. So it's, it doesn't matter if it's a three minute round, you're going like six rounds. Yeah. So you're like, and so that'll test your conditioning, but it'll test like your quickness and ur- not quickness, like, quick but your urgency yep you know you're not going to be just chilling in some guy's guard or you know because because it's you can possible to chill in the guard you can yeah in fact that's that's a good strategy in some cases you know when you gotta recover or something like this anyway that's that's an interesting one that i came to realize when jeff put it on us one day jeffy glover jeff glover yes okay 